Hi guys, very good morning to you. Uh, today uh, I have uh, this uh, question for you. Uh, this is a very good question. Uh, uh, so what we'll have to do is uh, we have to uh, get these numbers. We have to link these cells in a proper way so that there has to be no blank row, right? So uh, what if you have uh, this kind of a data and uh, being a am I as person or maybe you are somebody who actually deals uh, with Excel a lot you might have you know uh, come across this kind of a situation or maybe in future if you would uh, come across this kind of a situation that you want that uh, this is your basically you know this is your main data and what you want to do is you want to get these uh, uh, you know the numbers let me just write the headers here and what you want to do is you want to get these values like this uh, ABC should be here and then MMM and then KML and JJJ and all the codes you know and uh, side by side it should also give you the number like this right now uh, the problem with this is uh, it seems like little easy but I guess it is not as such so easy if you want to do it directly with the formula uh, possibly you may try to uh, do it you may think that you know it can be done with the linking for example like this you can copy this you can say equals to this but if you if you're going to drag this formula then as a excel rule you know the row is going to be incremented by one and you'll get all these numbers again you know all the blank spaces again so there is a solution uh, we can do such kind of a uh, task uh, with the help of the indirect function right so indirect actually basically demands your row number uh, the address you know and the address is uh, address means that the combination of uh, column and row so what we are going to do is we are immediately going to find the column number and the row number so you know that the row number for this code is a uh, sorry the column number a is a and for the number is p so i'm just writing it somewhere else right so i've written here and now what we want to do is uh, let's uh, build this condition that if this cell is not equals to space if it is not a blank then it should return me the row number otherwise otherwise it should give me the blank again right so drag this formula down till you have your this data now you'll get all the row numbers the active row numbers so two four six nine all these are the row numbers where we have something right and obviously if you have the code then number would also be there so this will be in you know uh, applicable for both now you have got the uh, row number and you have got the column number so what you want to do is put your formula here and uh, before doing that just do this thing uh, generate the numbers uh, concatenate this a with this a and uh, freeze this right a2 and uh, now drag the formula now okay so this is not working uh, so all right so there's one step I just missed it uh, just collect these cells separately right so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the blank and I'm going to copy these and I'm going to paste it somewhere else right so here I will again control X I will cut the values and I will put these values here I think cut did not work so I'm just doing it again okay so let me paste it here I'm going to cut this and I'm going to uh, maybe uh, let me paste anywhere you want you can paste it uh, let me paste it here right all right so now just insert a row now we'll make the address of all these uh, row numbers and uh, so a will be concatenated with the two now a will be concatenated uh, with the two because of the fact that you know we need a cell address and I'll uh, freeze this a so that it should be a2 now I'm going to drag this formula down and you can see that I actually am getting the cell addresses of all the active of all the cells where of all the rows uh, where we have something like this is this is what 
this is second row this is column a right intersection of this point so it is a2 I'm getting the a2 here this is what this is a4 you can check this address bar this is a4 and similarly I'm getting here a6 and you know a9 and a12 and a15 and so on so that's that's the actually the trick you have collected all the cells where you have something right so this is going to be used for this uh, ABC and similarly you can uh, again insert uh, column and you can this time concatenate this B with this row just drag this and you'll get all the values here now immediately use this formula indirect and it is going to ref text reference of the text means that it is going to uh, the moment you're going to select this now it will go to the A2 and whatever the value in A2 uh, will be there indirect indirectly it is going to be you know uh, it will reach there and it will get the value for you right so you have the A ABC now drag this formula and you'll get all the values back right there's no blank space here similarly you can put the indirect formula here because this time we are dealing with the B column so you can do this as well right so this is how and uh, for the future in case if you're sending this file to somebody maybe you can hide this and you know this is how your formula can work now the good point is that if, if I'm going to change this number JHHH you would just watch this this is also changed right if you're going to change this number 100 this will also be changed you know and uh, so uh, uh, if you ever want to change the column like your column is in the D if you have something in the D right maybe you have something uh, let me write some values here okay so I'll not go further so immediately you can even do this you can change this um, D and automatically your D column will pick up those values right these are the zero values because we have not anything over here right so uh, that's how you can uh, play with this indirect formula and it is a very very good dynamic formula indirect can be uh, used in two ways one is the basic indirect which we have used here and one is in the array form which is specially used in the drop downs right so that's it for now i hope uh, this will help you in in your assignments in your um, you know official work and uh, this is my email id in case if you're looking for more help just let me know about it and uh, that's it for now guys uh, watch out my other 40 videos as well and i have uh, uploaded a great content there so i hope i'll meet you soon with the next video and till then keep watching and do subscribe Thank you so much. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.